asshole. Well, it looks like a bunch of trash that I do want. Should say a bunch of scrap that I do want. That somebody was kind enough to <coughs> take apart for me. And put it in a receptacle. Nothing else. It's a good little stop right there, folks. I don't care who you are. Well, that's what I would guess. Bunch of poles, looks like. If they'll all come out without. You know, I don't want the wood ones. I'm not pulling out all his trash to get it. <clears throat> A few things. I like it when they stick it out for me. Or I can just load and go. That was nice of them. Thank you. These things can be heavy. I really don't have anything to sit it on. At all. She ain't like boys. I don't know.
longer than I look. Well, I think you all know how this goes. So I'm not going to video it again, but you went from the side of the road to the back of my truck to being disassembled at the barn now. <coughs> so I'm going to get the particulars off here. Then I'm going to take this truck, back it up to Sammy, because I've got some stuff in the back of Sammy already, and start to make a load in Sammy. And with this stuff I got and the stuff that's in Sammy, um, might be able to put together a load for the scrapyard. But this helped. Tremendously. This brings that up. And I think I've got some brass stuff here I gotta take apart. But... And I found some more copper. And it looks like I've got some brass there on that thing. Maybe copper. I don't know. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. What are you all doing? I know one thing you ain't doing, you ain't hitting the subscribe button. Can you please hit the subscribe button? Can you please do that for me? Can you help a feller out? I'm just trying to get to 2,000. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. See you in a while. So what? waiting for this to crumble down. Another bugger. One of those, uh... Well, I am making the turn to the Cohen Emporium. I've got some stuff to go inside. I don't have a big load. There might be a half a load on Sammy, but the other end of it's filled up with this non-fair stuff. Um, mainly what I'm doing is just, uh, just getting the truck unloaded. Uh, with some stuff that I picked up. And been sitting on for a while. What the hell y'all staring at? People kill me doing that. Uh, so we're going to go inside, unload this stuff first. It, it's the wrong time to be coming to the scrapyard. It gets late in the afternoon, they tend to get business picks up. And I'm hoping to dodge this. Jesus Christ. I got a load. I got a line. So I'm going to be here for a little bit. Everybody's wanting to go inside for some reason or another. That guy's got a load to unload. He must have some non-fair stuff to bring in too. And I don't know if that thing on that guy's truck right there is aluminum or not, but they ain't going to be able to take that inside. And you're going to have to weigh in and dump way out. That's just too much. And I don't know what this guy's got. I 
looks like an old Ford tractor hood a couple appliances stacked on his trailer that might be one of them dump trailers that I've been hearing so much about I don't know we'll see I'll turn you back on when there's action right now there's no action well it's my turn What's up, Bob? Hey, how we doing? You had a good weekend? I did, man. Well, a bunch of extruded. all of that clean excursion and I believe so I chopped her up That part, the uh, ground somewhere up here? Yeah. Oh, it is, yep, okay. RJ, what about time? them? It's probably stainless, huh? I don't know, man. I, it didn't spark. That's all I got, bro. All right. Hopefully you won't be here too much longer. What's that, you? You. Me? Hopefully you won't be here too much longer. Oh, yeah, no. The line keeps you coming, sure man. get them out pretty quick, me and Sam. You do, <laughs> you do. Thanks, thanks, bro. Okay. Let's move on to unload. What's up, boss? 
How you doing, man? I would say pull up the stop sign when you see somebody roll out. Let's go on. Just kind of watch back there for him. But gotcha. yeah, if he gets kind of lost for the minute, just. How you doing, buddy? There you are, sir. Thank you, my friend. Right. Good to see you, Dennis. Good to see you, brother. I did.
let's do a weigh and pay not bad i mean not chevy that i had a brass belt buckle that i found probably last year lost it in one of these trucks found it and took it in that was one pound dollar 70 a pound for a buck 70. 21 pounds of breakage aluminum that was that ac compressor and that a uh, lawnmower motor somebody took apart and put it in a trash can I took. Uh, 21 pounds, 17 cents a pound for 357. That one compressor that I got out of that AC unit, 64 pounds, 16 cents a pound for $10.24. I got three pounds of copper out of that AC unit, three pounds, 305 for 915. So there's 20 bucks. The ACRs, I had 16 pounds at $1.65 a pound for $26.40, so almost $50 out of that um, AC unit. I had 39 pounds of extruded aluminum, those uh, lawn chairs I took apart, 55 cents a pound for $21.45. Three pounds of that brass heater cord at $1.10 a pound, paid $3.30. The ACR ends I cut off had four pounds of them for two dollars. This truck had exactly 500 pounds on it at 150 a net ton for 37.50, and 13 pounds of stainless at 36 cents a pound was that one keg that was cut up for four dollars and 68 cents for a grand total of 119.99, and she rounded it up to make it an even 120. So I'm not too that's not too shabby for the load that I had. Because I had very little metal or scrap on here. The rest you can see that the scrap came out to what? How much was the scrap? $37.50. So basically what 80 bucks, 85 bucks was uh non-fair stuff gotta love it you don't have to love it but i i think you would love it if you took a truck in and loaded a bunch of scrap you had on the back and they give you 120 dollars for it i mean i don't think you can complain too much about that at all god damn it man damn train man it's been hurry up and wait everywhere hurry up and wait here hurry up and wait there Question is, do I want to hurry up and wait? Or do I just want to go around? Let's just go around, shall we? Well, I don't know what the hell you think you're doing there at the stop sign, sitting there with your door open, but apparently you had a plan. Now you're behind me. So if that was your plan, congratulations, plan fulfilled. So we're going to go out the back way. Simply because I want to wait in line. And there's them same two guys sitting there on them bikes. And one guy's got a little milk crate to the back of it. So he might be, he might be picking up cans, which he is. If he's, if that's what he's doing, that's off to you, buddy. All right, Let's get back to the barn, shall we? And, and, and I don't know, am, am I asking for too much? Is that what it is? I mean, I'm like 43 subscribers away from 2,000. Do, do, am, am I not impressing upon you just how much I want to get to 2K? There's not 43 of you that have 43 friends that could subscribe to this channel and embrace the horror that is Scrap for Cash and the hijinks and all the stuff that I do. I mean, I, this quality entertainment, people. I mean, damn. I mean, normally you'd have to pay for this streaming service. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I mean, when y'all get around to it, I guess you'll hit a subscribe button every damn now and then, but sure is taking you a while. 
don't don't feel bad don't feel bad now, I'm sure there's a reason why you're not subscribing just don't know what the hell that would be I mean it ain't like it cost anything you know it ain't like you can't do it while you're laying on your couch with your leg up on the side of the couch rolled over with the clicker in your hand all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button with the clicker and don't get me wrong it's all about the views and I appreciate the views and I appreciate my subscribers and if you subscribed you would know how much I appreciate you but you're not gonna know because you're not subscribed you just want to sit around and watch everything and not worry about subscribing and don't care Did I mention it's free? Did I mention it don't cost nothing? How about this? Everybody that subscribes gets a free pizza. Not for me, but at some point in time, you might get a free pizza. Somebody might come around and say, hey, you want pizza? It's free. Now, they may not say it's from scrap for cash, but I don't know. It's possible. I mean, it could happen, people. It could happen. Acknowledged by her behavior that she made the story up? No. The official police report says she did. I quote, When he asked Miss Blake if she made up the story, she burst into tears. Asshole!